Hi, this is Jeff with Jailbreak Movies. Let's talk about something essential, essential to all jailbreakers. It's an app that you absolutely need to have if you're interested in managing your iPhone to any um, any degree. Uh, it's called SB Settings. No doubt you've heard of it. You've probably heard me mention it on other videos. Um, but SB Settings really is uh, an app that is a must-have. It's always one of the first apps that I install after I've uh, restored my iPhone, after I've jailbroken my iPhone. SB Settings is one of the first to go on my iPhone. Now, why is this? Well, it's simple. Notice this. All you do, you can slide down the SB Settings menu from anywhere, any app. It doesn't matter where you're at. Um, you can slide that menu down and you can manage certain aspects of your iPhone. These things up here, these are called toggles. What these allow you to do is to, is to toggle on or off certain features of your iPhone, such as uh, airplane mode. You can toggle it on or off directly from SB Settings or maybe Wi-Fi or um, other, uh, just other things like Bluetooth. And not only that, there's some handy features down here. Um, you see your Wi-Fi IP address, you get your data IP address, you can even see the storage contained on your iPhone. So you can kind of get a general status of the condition of your iPhone so you can know what kind of shape it's in. And then you have these options here. You can uh, have advanced power options so you can reboot, power off, lock, put your phone into safe mode directly from there. You can also respring your iPhone which basically is like a reboot uh, of your iPhone. Um, it kind of clears out everything, get your iPhone running back up to speed if it maybe slowed, uh, started to slow down. So that's a good feature. And then you have this dock which allows you to place other applications in this dock if you want to access them from there. You have a refresh, which can refresh the information on the SB settings. And then you have this more button. Now here's the more settings for SB settings. Uh, you have your toggles, which I showed you earlier. There you can actually set which toggles you want to appear in the order, et cetera, et cetera. So that's nice. You have your activation methods. You notice when I uh, activated SB settings, I slid down on my status menu, on my status bar up here. Well, here's where you can decide what you want to use to invoke SB settings. Um, then you have themes. I have, um, everybody always asks me this, what kind of theme are you using? Well, I use Bold Retina, which is a free uh, theme available in Cydia. So here's where you can set your themes. Then you have additional options here. You have those dock applications that I showed you. And then down here for system options, here's some interesting stuff. Hide icon, say there's uh, icon on your home screen that you don't want to appear. You still want it to be installed, but you just you don't want to always have to see it. Here's where you can go in, uh, loads up all your apps. You can hide those uh, icons there. Uh, then you have mobile substrate add-ons. These are all your tweaks, all your jailbreak apps, etc. It's just a full list of all the tweaks and apps you have. You can disable those dynamically from right here. Um, so. Say you're having problems with your iPhone after installing a certain tweak. You're not sure if the tweak's causing it. Well, you can just go in here, disable that tweak. It'll respring, and then you can test whether or not it was indeed the tweak that was causing the issue. So that's very handy. I always use that. And then you have system options and some more additional options. Now, this last option down here, app folders, tells you the direct path. Um, of your specific apps. So say you FTP'd into your iPhone, you wanted to know where this app was located, uh, you can find the exact path by just tapping. See right there, it'll tell you where it's located. So that's pretty much SB settings in a nutshell. You can see why it's so useful, can't you? Um, really, I use it each and every day. Uh, like I said, you can, you can access it from anywhere. Even if you're, say you're in your iPod, you just slide down whatever your activation method is, and then you can manage certain features of your iPhone while still in that app. You know, I'd pay for SB settings gladly. I mean, it's so um, it's so helpful when it comes to maintaining your iPhone, but it's free. So if that's not enough to convince you, I don't know what is. But yes, SB settings is free. Uh, so feel free to hop over to Cydia, download it if you haven't tried it. I'm sure you'll love it. This is Jeff with jailbreakmovies.com.